Hey guys, I'm working on um, an update for Web Converger on the Raspberry Pi, but I'm also looking after my son, who's basically found a ladder and climbing up on it. <laughs> hey guys, this weekend I'm trying to maintain the Raspberry Pi 2 port or Raspberry Pi 3 port of Web Converger. And I'm putting this on my normal channel because I think it's quite interesting um, the way I do it. So what happens is that I check the whole root FS pretty much like the, um, like the, the normal Web Converger into Git Hub. See, the whole root is, is there. Um, and the way it works is that I, de I deploy it on, on, the, on this uh, micro SD card. And <clears throat> when it boots up, it runs this WebC upgrade uh, file here, which does a git pull. And it also copies in the, um, the 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 way the Raspberry Pi port works is that it has the boot partition on a fat partition, so I need to copy those into the right place too. And then on the next reboot, the the, the machine should be upgraded. So that's the way I deliver Raspberry Pi version. But the tricky thing is, is that I need to manually. Um, go over here, upgrade this um, Raspberry Pi here, and git commit all the relevant files into um, into GitHub, and then push it. And then furthermore, um, I need to get another SD card like the one I have here, and, and make sure and make sure it upgrades smoothly, because there's a number of things that can go wrong. So that's my weekend. That's 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 how the Raspberry Pi port works. I think the um, the x86 version is a little bit better engineered, and uh, like you can roll back and and um, it only does the sort of only only like writes out the, the new files on boot, so it's a bit safer. But this is basically a, a very cheap way of um, of keeping systems up up to date using Git, and it's simple, but yeah, there are problems. There are problems indeed. So this is the video explaining them. So the new version of the um, of the of the browser that I'm using right now, it has this problem where like if it doesn't have an internet connection, it just sticks on an error page. But now there's a patch so that when it does get internet back, it, it is clever enough to sort of reload um, from that sort of error state. So this is the update I'm trying to roll out. It works, I've tested it. Now I need to git commit push uh, or or clone to, to another one to make sure it works. Because um, I don't want to git commit everything. Uh, that's the problem here. Okay, I think I want to play it super super safe and make a whole copy of this this root. I mean, if I run git status here, you'll see that, um, well, it's slow, and um, yeah, I need to make a full copy of this. How do I do that? Minus R for recursive, A for keeping all the, um, I think A just keeps all the special file modes when you copy something. Yeah, this could take some time. We really spent so much time yesterday working on this. Okay, the copy has been done. It's quite large. Um, now it's time to carefully get commit the right bits and pieces, I guess. 
So there's a couple of things not to check in. ETC uh, machine ID is um, is one of them. It should be an empty file. Yep. Right now I'm doing a local um, sync from my git commit on my local uh, copy here. Um, to see if basically what happens if this will all work so I checked in a file var cache ld config aux cache in my commit here which I shouldn't have so I've made a backup and now I'm gonna do a git reset oh, what was it again was it a soft no it's a, it's a head This hopefully can make me just backtrack one. And then I can uh, undo the the file that I committed, uh, i.e. delete it, and then redo the commit. Otherwise, I tested over there, it's working quite well. So let's do this one. Redo the whole thing takes time and then once I've committed this then I will uh, do another I'll do a local clone to the SD card again let's make sure this is not in here okay Great plus surf reload patch. Okay, I've got the test SD card in there. I'm just uh, resetting it to a previous commit, doing a, a local clone and uh, emerge, and um, should be a the a good way to test everything. Looking good, looking good. Proof is in the pudding though. And then of course I should get another SD card and test the Something went wrong. So I had a problem which boiled down to the fat partition on the Raspberry Pi being corrupted. So I had to manually remove the dirty bit. So uh, I'm worried that my colleague made this an issue. Um, but um, hmm. the thing is when you take out the power 
on your on your thing. It's very easy for it to have the dirty bit set. This is a very, very tricky problem now. I'm wondering how to solve it. Unmounting once I've done an upgrade. Moment of truth. I'm trying an upgrade. WebC upgrade on this machine. Okay, that would fail because the command line. Let's just reboot, see if it worked. Some kernel load system problem, I'm not too sure what that's about. So far, so good. Let's remove the network. Let's mess around a bit. No. Let's put the thing back in. catch <sighs> showing a web page this is what you should use web converger for it all seems to work I think I'm gonna break for lunch Good morning, guys. Um, I'm in my tests where I basically um, unplug and replug the Raspberry Pi 2 to reboot it. I'm getting these issues where the boot VFAT is becoming corrupted. I think, namely, because there is an upgrade script that does a copy, and if it fails, it goes crazy. So, th so basically, the way to fix it is to for suck it remove the dirty bit as I've done here you can see it's been truncated and then <coughs> mount um, the root and then uh, and the boot as uh, the boot there mounted yep, it is. and then I do a copy over oh no it's a read only Email. Try that again. Why is it only mounting? Read only. Uh, some there's more. There's a. Yeah, I. Does anyone know how to combat these issues with? Um, with the Raspberry Pi now it's working now this should work oh. see the green this is annoying. Yeah, as anyone knows, the right approach to deal with the uh, VFAT and, and, and rebooting a Raspberry Pi 2, please let me know. Hey guys, it's Sunday, and I think it's time I should spend some time with my family. But I just wanted to boast that I have updated a couple of things with the Web Converger. I switched... Um, a WebSocket control thing to use Let's Encrypt. It was surprisingly straightforward with, 
what was it called auto cert or something like that and now yeah auto cert and now I don't have to de deal with um, certificates really good and also I was bemoaning this corruption issue and I think I'm I just added a, a line to mount to to stop it mounting on boot and mounting it and unmounting it only when I think I need to so hopefully this will be the end to boot corruption issues on the Raspberry Pi 2 port which I dare say is working quite well so yeah that's my weekend of work um, I hope you enjoyed it and please have a look at the web converger project for your um, for your needs when it comes to showing a web page or or getting uh, you know give you someone access to a web form in a in a public environment okay cheers guys thanks for watching